English is my second language, so please don't hate me if something doesn't make much sense. I'll try to do as best as I can. Okay, here's some backstory. I live in the smaller side of a city in Estonia. I won't tell you which part because of obvious reasons. And there aren't many people living in this side of the city that I live in. So it's pretty quiet here, and nothing strange usually happens. I'm a 13 year old guy who loves to listen to creepy true stories. Okay, now to my story. It's 2pm and I've just finished another boring school day. So I have guitar lessons on Wednesdays after school. These lessons usually last from one hour to two and a half hours maybe. I started walking from school to a shop nearby. I bought a can of soda, left the shop and headed to the guitar lesson. On the way there I was a bit late for the bus, so I booked it and ran as fast as I can to get there on time. I made it and I was actually currently really happy that my running skills actually came in handy for once. But the happiness didn't last for long, seeing as I'd forgotten my notes for the song that I had to play in front of the whole school. Damn, I said in my head, and I was so pissed off for getting such an important thing. I tried remembering the chords in my head, but I couldn't remember anything. A, E, D. God, why am I so dumb? My teacher was going to be such a dick about it as well. I was even thinking about skipping the lesson and going back home and lying to my parents that the teacher was sick and that there was no lessons happening today. But I decided to man up and I went to the lesson anyway. That was my first bad idea. It started raining as soon as I got off the bus so I put my hood on and went all the way. I got to the entrance of my guitar school and spotted a weird six foot tall I'm guessing a homeless guy wearing a red hooded jacket, just sitting there in a puddle. I thought it was weird at first, and then I saw he wasn't even moving. He was just sitting in the middle of the street, and it felt like he was paralysed, or even dead. I watched him for about five minutes, and he didn't even move once. I got a very unnerving feeling, and stepped into the classroom. I quickly forgot about the man, and started playing my guitar. After two and a half hours of sitting in that warm and sweaty classroom, we were finally free and I went outside. And to my surprise, that man was still there and he hadn't even moved a muscle. I was creeped out again and I took a photo sent to my friends. I have since deleted the photo as I had to change my phones. The bad thing was that I had to get some stuff at the gardening shop from my mum and the guy was sitting directly in front of the store. Oh no, he's going to grab me and do something with me, I thought. But I was just paranoid because I had just listened to a video of five creepy let's not meet stories and I thought I was going to be one of their next victims. But when I finally had the courage to go past him and into the store, nothing happened. I was so relieved that he didn't just grab my leg and try to drag me away. But then again, why would anyone do that? Especially in front of a store that was packed with people and in bright daylight. It was just in my head and I was a very paranoid person. So I bought some gardening stuff for my mum and got out of there because I was tired and I wanted to get home and take a big nap. But as soon as I passed the guy, he got up and started walking behind me. I was so freaked out that I didn't want to glance back to see what he looked like. I just thought of, oh no worries, he just got tired at the exact same time that I passed him and now he's walking in the same direction I am. What a coincidence. I got to the bus stop and, you guessed it. Mr. Sitting in a Pole guy was standing right next to me and staring at me. Yeah, you heard it right. He was staring directly into my eyes, and I could see it from the corner of my left eye. I didn't want to look at him, so I kept staring forward. In a couple of minutes, my bus came. I entered first, and the puddle man came in right after me. I have to mention this. He smelt like he'd been living in a garbage can for the last month, and I think he'd actually been doing that. I walked to the end of the bus where there weren't very many people, and thus there were many free seats. And of course, that guy sat right next to me. I didn't want to switch seats to seem rude, so I bared his disgusting odour. I was getting a bit unnerved because he wouldn't stop staring at me, and he was breathing through his mouth down my neck. I could feel and smell the stench of rotten egg coming from his mouth. Absolutely disgusting. When I got to my stop, it was already dark outside, so it made me more scared than I already was. I sat at the window seat and stood up to let him know that I wanted to get off, but he wasn't getting the hint. So I said, excuse me, I would like to leave, 
may you please get up, or at least move your legs so I can get off the bus? He didn't even flinch. I thought he didn't understand Estonian, so I said, fair enough, and I said it again in Russian. No answer, and he didn't even move his legs or body. He just kept staring at me, and now I saw his face. He had brown eyes and a long dirty beard. He was all covered with cheese or something like that. He had a baseball cap that had many holes in it, and a sweaty and muddy Lakers t-shirt. I basically jumped over him so I could get out. Bear in mind that I had a long and heavy guitar on my back, so it was kind of difficult to navigate. And when I got off the bus, the guy got off as well. This bloody guy didn't move, and when he clearly knew that I wanted to get off the bus, and now he just started following me again. Luckily, my apartment was very, very close to the bus stop, so I literally ran for my life to the door. And when I looked back towards him, he was running at me like a maniac. Luckily, we have a door that locks automatically when it's shut. So I got the door open and closed it at the right time because the second it closed, he was at the door banging on it and screaming some incoherent things at me. I ran straight upstairs to my apartment door, which was on the fourth floor. I basically started bawling my eyes out right there and then. My mum was at home preparing dinner for the family and I told her everything. She ran to the window that overlooked the house door and saw no one there, obviously. But the scary part is, when my dad came home, he saw a guy in a red hooded jacket with a baseball cap on standing on the third floor and knocking on different doors asking for me by name. My dad asked him what the fuck he was doing and he ran down the stairs and out of the front door. Thank god my dad came home when he did, because if he had gone one story higher he would have knocked on our door. My questions were, how did he get inside? And how on earth did he know my name? He must have been stalking me somehow, or asked my friends, neighbours, or family members for my name. So to the homeless guy that stalked me and somehow knew my name, let's never meet again.